a buddy of mine in 4451, Lloyd Mackey. Give him whatever he needs. Hi everyone, in this episode we are going to talk about Lloyd. He has a liver cancer and has been waiting for a liver transplant for eight months. Sweetheart, I've been at the top of the list for eight months. So what is the liver? The liver is part of the digestive system. The main organs of the digestive system form a long tube where you eat at one end and poo at the other. Along this tube, the food you eat gets broken down to smaller pieces so that our body can absorb and reuse them. You can think of it as a set of legal pieces that come in one set, but you only need some of the colors to reorganize them in a certain way for your project. The body is the same, it needs to produce very complex molecules that are not always found directly in our food, and this process is called metabolism. It keeps the useful pieces and reorganizes them together to build what it needs to perform all of our body functions such as building your muscles, digesting your food, breathing, talking, and flirting. Well, whatever you need, I'm your man. I'm sure I'll think of something. The liver is our second largest organ after our skin. It does so many important things for us that it is often referred to as a factory. The liver is what we call an accessory organ to the digestive system. This just means that the food does not go inside it, but the liver helps the digestion in another way, by producing bile. Bile is a yellow-green fluid made of acids and cholesterol, and it is continuously produced by the liver. It is stored in the gallbladder, another accessory organ of the digestive system. When food comes down the digestive tract, the gallbladder will secrete bile to help digest and break down fats into smaller pieces. Once the food is broken down, the small pieces of food are then sent back to our liver, who will use them to build essential things for us, such as our proteins for our muscles and our glucose, which is our main source of energy. It also cleans our blood from toxins. So in summary, we cannot live without our liver. The liver removes building blocks from the blood to make bile. When the liver is sick, this component is not used and starts to pile up in our blood. This causes the white of our eyes to turn yellow, and we can see this in Lloyd's eyes. This is also called jaundice. Mr. Mackey, no smoking. Smoking will kill you. Liver cancer will kill me. Liver cancer is an aggressive tumor that usually develops in patients that already have some kind of liver disease. People are often diagnosed late, and as a result, only one in five patients survive after five years. The liver can regenerate up to 80% of its mass under a year. Because of this, liver cancer can sometimes be treated by surgically removing a portion of the liver. However, that is not the case, for example, if the patient has a liver disease called cirrhosis which Lloyd probably has because that would explain him being at the top of the list. Fun fact, cirrhosis is the exact same disease that requires Meredith to give part of her liver to Thatcher in a later season. You have a potential donor? To be eligible for liver transplant, Lloyd needs to be medically evaluated. There are many people on the waiting list, and if Lloyd had other health issues, he would be less likely to tolerate the stress of the surgery. We can see George doing some of these tests. They are usually performed every six months for patients on the transplant list. The main risk of liver transplant is if Lloyd's body recognizes the new organ as foreign and attacks it. To avoid this, Lloyd will have to take medications for the rest of his life. These medications often cause serious side effects. What are you examining me for? Oh, you know, just routine medical stuff. You're doing very well. Because I'm enjoying the view. Okay, well, I gotta go. As there are not enough organs available for donation, patients such as Lloyd may wait for a long time. Patients are classified on the donor list according to three things. The first is their compatibility. Giving a liver with the wrong blood type would result in rejection. What I do? How close a match for the liver is your guy to R. John Doe? Very, same type, same size. You know couldn't find a better match. Why? The second one is the disease severity. 
how bad is the liver doing all the things that it is supposed to be doing? You're at the top of the donor list for a new liver. As we have seen before, the liver is supposed to remove waste from our blood. But when the liver is sick, this waste accumulates everywhere. This can be measured through a series of blood tests called liver function tests. And for example, it measures the amount of waste that is in our blood. The higher it is, the less the liver is working. The last criteria is time, and it is used to break ties between patients at the same stage of the illness. Except that beautiful boy won't let me smoke. Mackie. That beautiful boy may have found you a liver. Our donor's name is Kevin. He was hit by a car and unfortunately had a severe brain injury. Unidentified John Doe, mid-30s pedestrian, hit by a motorist swerving to avoid a bike. GCS 3. If you remember from last week, the GCS is a tool that measures someone's level of consciousness. A GCS of 3, like Kevin, is one of the criteria for a patient to be declared brain dead. This is the lowest possible score. It means the person scores a 1 in each category because they do not open their eyes, talk or move even when they feel pain. Giving them a painful stimuli may sound a little barbaric, but the reaction would prove that the person has remaining brain function and it is crucial to identify any changes. This is what Derek is doing here. So when we call time of death, we know that we've done everything in our body to make sure it's actually his time of death. Well, that is what Derek is trying to do. This is called a sternum rub, and it should last at least 30 seconds, so he's being a little slack. It is also not the most recommended technique as it is not reliable and can cause bruising. The trapezius pinch or pressure on the fingernails are preferred. You're a good friend. The best. Shut up and count backwards already, Mac. How'd it go? Very smoothly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today with Lloyd. See you next week. And you want a harvest surgery. I, I want to save lives. OK, I want a harvest surgery. So who do we go to for the surgery, Bailey? No, we need to go higher than Bailey. Dr. Burke? Hello? OK. Dr. Burke, um, I know you're busy.